Hey, what's up everyone? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use another tool that allows you to program the microcontrollers like the Arduino Nano or the ESP8266 and this tool is called mBlock that allows you to create the logic of your project by dragging and dropping some blocks very easily so it is recommended to use it for kids so that they can learn how to program and create some projects because programming can be hard for some people that don't understand the syntax of the programming language like the C programming language so today we are not going to use the Arduino IDE we are going to download and block from this website I'm gonna add it under the video description here you have different options you could install it on the web or on your PC and if you don't have a computer you could use a smartphone you could download the app for Android or iOS for me I'm gonna download the PC version and I have a Windows machine so I'm gonna select this link the size is about 300 megabytes. I'm gonna start downloading this. Once it's done downloading, we can open up the folder that contains this executable file and we can run it by double clicking on it. As you can see, it is installing the program. So let's wait a bit. And there you go, it is completed. We can run it by checking this option or we can open it up from the desktop. And it's really easy to use. First of all, we need to specify the device that we're gonna program, like the Arduino Nano or the ESP32. And the way we do that is by adding a device from this section. For now, we have this CyberPy. We're not going to use it, we can delete it. Then we can add a new device and search for it. For me, I have an Arduino Nano. I'm gonna pick up the first option. Then we can hit OK. Once you do that, you will have all of the functionalities that are related to the Arduino board. For example, under pin, we have different blocks, like set servo pin, which allows us to rotate the servo motor. Also, we have set PWM to set the PWM. So let's try to make a blink sketch. We are going to turn on and off the built-in LED, which is connected to the digital pin number 13 of the Arduino. First, we need to go to under events. We have to drag in this block. When Arduino starts up, in such case, we are going to turn on and off the LED and to do that we need to add some kind of a loop function that is called over and over again. We can find this option under control and here it is forever. Everything that you put in here is going to be called forever over and over again. Basically we want to turn the LED on using the pin commands and here we are going to set the digital pin output as high to turn the LED on. We can drag it using the left mouse and put it in here. We are going to change the pin to 13 and we need to set it to high to turn it on. Next we have to wait a bit, like a second. In the Arduino IDE we use the delay command. Here we are going to use our blocks. I think it's under sensor. No, it is under control and it is called wait. We need to wait for one second, then we will turn it off. The same thing, we have to go under pin and set the digital pin number 13 to low to turn it off. We can change this from here and we need to wait for one second again by going under control and drag and drop this block and that's how we can create our blink sketch that turns the built-in LED on and off. By the way, if you want to see the code, we have this icon. Also, you could copy it and paste it under the Arduino IDE but now we are going to use our mBlock program to be able to upload this code or this program to the Arduino board. First of all, we have to select the port by going under connect and we have to show all connectable devices so that we can select our Arduino port but here we have different options like COM6, COM1 to be able to know the port of the USB cable you could unplug the USB cable and as you can see COM6 disappears that means COM6 is the port of the USB cable that is connected to the Arduino board and select it then we can hit connect and finally, we could upload the code by selecting this button. And there you go, the code has been uploaded. The built-in LED is blinking, so our program is working just fine. Now, before I finish this video, I want to show you how to use some libraries that allows you to use other components, like the LCD display that comes with the I2C module. So in order to use this display, we have to install a library that is called Liquid Crystal I2C using the Arduino IDE. But now, if you want to use mBlock, these are called extensions. To add an extension, we click on this button. Here I'm gonna search for LCD, I2C. I think the first option is okay. 
we have to install it by clicking on it then we can add it using the add button once you do that you will see another section that is called lcd i2c if you click it you will see some functionalities that allows us to use the lcd display now we have to connect it to the arduino board and we are going to write something on the screen i've already talked about connecting this uh, lcd display basically it has four pins the G and D goes to the G and D of the board, like the Arduino Nano or the Arduino Uno. The VCC goes to the 5V pin to power up the LCD. Then we have the SDA and the SEL. The SDA goes to the analog pin A4 and the SEL to the analog pin A5. For me, I'm going to use these female to female jumper wires to connect the pins. The G and D is the yellow wire that goes to the G and D. Next, we have the VCC, which is the green wire. Let's hook it up to the 5 volt pin. Then I'm going to connect it the SDA, which is the blue wire, to the SDA of the microcontroller. It is the analog pin A4. And finally, the SEL goes to the analog pin A5. As you can see, it lights up. That means our LCD is working. Now we can get back to this program. And let's get rid of these blocks by dragging them under this area. First of all, we have to set up the LCD display. So when the Arduino starts up, we are going to use this block, which turn on the LCD. And if you don't know, each LCD display that comes with the I2C module has a specific address that could be 0x27, 0x3F, or 0x38. Make sure to use one of these and check if it's working. For me, I have used the 0x27 address and it works just fine. Then we can set the width and the height of the display. For me, this display comes with two lines and 16 columns that's why i'm gonna leave the default values we have 16 characters in each line next we need to turn on the backlights by dragging this block after we turn on the lcd make sure to select the same address now to be able to write some text we will use our next block and i think you guess it lcd show text for now we are going to write this text once but you could update it under the forever loop so we are going to show the text hello and block and we can set the position I'm going to select the first line and the first column then we are going to write hello and block you could also change the position for example let's go to the line number two and now we can upload the code again you don't have to connect it so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment about this program, make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one.